so right now the time is uh, 7.50 a.m. so 8 a.m. Uh, we're going to the border again today we have a case of um, uh, a common law partner of a study permit holder so today we have a um, student of public school and um, only spouses and common law partners of students of public school and degree granting private schools can apply for this type of uh, open book permit. So, um, because we have common law case, we have to prove the uh, genuine relations between a couple. So, the main document to prove this will be a lease agreement. So, every time you prove a common law relations, you have to prove that a couple have at least one year of uh, uh, living together at the same place. So we have documents from both Canada and from outside of Canada, from uh, applicant's country, proving that they live together for more than one year. We prove it with, again, with lease agreement, with um, different utility bills proving the same address. Uh, we prove it with number of uh, civil documents from uh, client's home country. So we have quite a a uh, big package of documents proving this, right? And of course we have to prove that the uh, student uh, is study at uh, public school or degree granting school. We prove it with a letter of acceptance, we prove it with enrollment letter and we prove it with transcript because the student is active student. Uh, and also today in the package we have a student card. It's not mandatory but again some additional documents proving that the student is studying at school right now and that um, this is a, a active student. So today case is quite straightforward again so usually we apply for spouses or common law partners. Uh, if we have a spouse case we just provide a marriage certificate. Uh, it's a good idea always to add some additional documents proving that the couple living together but in the marriage case usually a marriage certificate is good enough and documents for students so quite straightforward case i hope we will be done within two maximum three hours and we'll be back in office before 1 p.m today thank you so you can see on the right side uh, there is a duty uh, free shop yeah. so please don't go there anytime you <laughs> Uh, you do flag pollen okay. because um, uh, on return on return back uh, you might have extra 15 minutes of your time declaring whatever goods you got oh, there. Yeah. Also, uh, when you drive, so don't pass over this uh, this parking uh, right because if you cross this point, you have to drive with your car. You cannot do um, pedestrian anymore. So basically, we will park here right now and. And we go to the border. So we are walking 500 meters between the Canadian side and the American side. So on the right side you can see this uh, arch. It's right in the middle between Canada and the United States. And on the left side actually you can see residential area. So surprisingly people live at the border. It's, it's a nice place to live in, I guess. <laughs> so today is not busy at all. I saw just one car passing by. So early morning is the best time to go to do flag pollen because otherwise uh, you can uh, wait in the line so it's just 500 meters to go we right now go to american side and the reason we go there we have to get a flag pollen paper so later when we come back to canadian side we have to present uh, this flag pollen paper so see you later So we are done with our American side paperwork, so we receive a paper uh, for flag pollen. So with this paper we are now coming back to Canadian side, uh, again another 500 meters back. So as you can see no traffic at all, as I told this is morning, weekdays, it's the best time to do the flag pollen. And right now we will go to Canadian side, first we will see the uh, first CBSA officer, he will check our passports and he will uh, ask us these standard questions if you have any cash if you have any drugs alcohol uh, covid symptoms so no 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 and after that we go inside the cbsa office where we will uh, talk to officer who will make decision unfortunately we cannot record any videos inside from cbsa office so later i will follow up with you on what happens there okay.
the case was approved, uh, we just left the CBSA office, Canadian side. Let's follow up quickly on what happens inside. So once we were in CBSA, CBSA office, we presented all the documents. And um, today, because we have a common law case, so I advise client to uh, come together with a partner. So the partner was outside office, but at some point officer decided to talk to partner too. So they invited partner inside the office and um, asked some questions. So basically again, so it's a good idea whenever you have a, a open work permit case for as a spouse or as a common law partner of a study permit holder or work permit holder, it's a good idea to go to the border together with your spouse or partner. So today was the case like this and the officer decided to uh, see the partner too. And then later um, they ask few questions about, uh, actually maybe let's ask client what she was asked and how she answered and what happened in the border. Well, my permit was just approved. Here it is. I'm so happy about it. I'm so excited. Um, the questions were pretty straightforward. They, they asked what, what are my intentions when I came to Canada. Um, they are not pretty hard questions, just so it was a pretty fast process. Um, so uh, we just waited for like half an hour and then I get approved. So I'm pretty happy about it. I'm so excited.